he that believeth upon me, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. And he that believeth upon me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water, man. All right? Water, water is a, water is a, uh, it, it quenches thirst, man. You know? I got a quick preach, Go ahead, brother, go ahead. Uh, this is Psalm rank 9 and 13. Because you were talking about uh, wisdom. It says, uh, keep thee far from the man that hath power to kill. So shalt thou not doubt the fear of death. And if thou come unto him, make no fault, lest he take away thy life presently. Remember that thou goest in the midst of snares, and that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city. Right, that's what we coming, that's what we coming into, man. You know, although that, that applies to now because every it's a spiritual fight right now, man. You know, go ahead, brother. This is Tobit 4 and 9. For thou layest up a good treasure for thyself against the day of necessity, because that arms do deliver from death, and suffereth not to come into darkness. Right, because that, he's talking about, the, Tobit is talking about the physical arms. Well, read that again, brother. It still applies, though. Because Boy. that arms do deliver from death. Nah, start from, the, start start. from the top. For thou layest up a good treasure for thyself against the day of necessity. Right, because like the elder was even going into talking about paying tights, you know? You can apply that to a physical, paying physical arms, um, spiritual arms, man. Paying spiritual, that's why the scriptures say, uh, le you know, uh, lending your ear, you know? Because that's, that's a spiritual investment, man. Go ahead, brother. Because that arms do deliver from death. Yup. And suffer not to come into darkness. Yup, and suffer not to come into darkness, man. The time that we coming into, it's gonna be very dark, man. It's gonna be physically, physically dark and spiritually dark out here. Because the knowledge of the Heavenly Father ain't gonna be on the streets. And guess what? All these lights, you see how I lit up out here? These lights ain't gonna be on in that day, man. You know? Got, got more? Hold up. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, this is Amos 8 and 11. Come. Behold, the days come, said the Lord Power that I will send a famine in the land. Yep. Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Well, of hearing the words of the Lord. That's why the Spirit got it coming out, talking about the hearing part, man. A lot of you guys just, you, you that's what, there is a fact. You know, like the scriptures say. You know, you, you don't want to hear, man. Your, your ears are cluttered, man. You know? People don't want to hear the truth, man. Basic stuff. Like, being a faggot is wrong, man. Things like that, that's basic, man. You know, the animals know that being a faggot is wrong, man. You know, go ahead, brother. Okay, uh, I'm gonna jump down to verse 17. It says, I love it's them. Pro Proverbs 8, right? Yeah, Proverbs 8 and 17. Yep. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Yeah, those that seek me early shall find thee, man. That's why we out here, man. Hey, any day, any day now, this, this, these prophecies can come to pass. Then what, man? You know, any day all hell can break loose in the society. Then what, man? You know about this? Cause this is getting popular, man. Where you from? Nigeria. Yeah, I knew you was from. You know that area over there. Were you a uh, Yoruba, Igbo? Yeah, Yoruba. Yoruba? Yeah, more than likely you're you're you're, you're a Levite, man. You know? You know, you, I, the Yoruba, they keep they still keep the priestly uh, uh, attire, man. They still do the things that the priest did. The way we got, our people got over there into the land, what they call today is Nigeria, yeah. and they were kicked out of uh, 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 um, Israel. They yeah. were flushed out of the land of Israel, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then pushed into the western shores of Africa. You know about that? No. You familiar? That's new. Okay, okay, that, that's cool. That's the, the, uh, the correlation between the Yoruba and the Levites. Right, exactly, exactly, because they keep the same priestly, the same priestly order, yeah. you know? And the, and the Ebos are more than likely the Judites. That's why Ebo and Judah, are sim it's even, it sounds the same, but Ebo is more than likely it's the tribe of Judah. Ebo, because I come across Ebo, they have the, the same type of characteristics or, or, or uh, 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 yeah, the same characteristics as the so-called Negroes that came here on the slave ships. Okay, 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 you know? Okay. It's all spiritual, it's all spiritual. A lot of people, they're, they're falling out of spirituality, man. But this is the most spiritual thing that you can ever, have, you know, Investing like we've been like we've been talking about, man. You know, being of that priestly order, man. You know, not only that, not only that. You know, this is your nationality. This is who you are. But 
prior to colonialism. Because b before colonialism, we were doing, we had different customs. You know, and then when the so-called white man, he took over, you know, he started putting his hand on the resources and things of that nature, you know, uh, uh, taking over the politics, you know, over in, the, in those regions and, and, so, and so forth. You know, we live differently. Our people live differently, man. You know? I understand that, yeah. Right, right, man. Right. You know? And, and, and another part of the truth, let me get uh, Matthew 1 and 21. Another part of the truth is that you believe in the Bible? Yeah, definitely. That's, that's another thing, that's spiritual, man. Yeah. Let me get Romans 8 and 16. Let's get that first. You know? Romans 8 and 16 first. So Romans 8 verse uh, 16, it says, the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. The spirit is the book. And it's, it said the spirit bear witness with our spirit, meaning the people, go ahead, what? That we are the children of God. That we are the children of the Most High. That's why we cleave unto the Bible so much. Okay. Our, our, here it is, our people were butchered, beaten, raped, robbed, and murdered, but still, uh, I love God. I'm praying to God. I still love God. And still getting into the Bible, even though it seemed like God wasn't with us. Because our spirit was still dwelling with the spirit. You know? Can we read it verbatim? No, yeah, yep. Yeah. All right, uh, Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son. Right, it's talking about the one whom they talk about, Mary. Go ahead. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. Right, go ahead. For he shall save his people from their sins. So he shall save his people. Now, according to the Bible, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ died for his people. Right. His people only. And now his people, I don't know if you know, are the children of Israel. Right. Because why? We're the ones getting butchered, shot, shot down in the streets. We're the, the last hire and the first, first fire. You know, we're the ones getting butchered, man. We're the ones, you know, we're the best at everything, but we're at the bottom of the totem pole. So we're the ones that need to be saved. Everybody else, they, you know, they're getting loans, businesses. They're thriving in the society as a people. Now you have individuals that are so-called Negroes, you know, so-called of our people, you know, so-called Hispanics of our people that are thriving. But they're doing it on an individual standpoint. You see what I'm saying? Now you have the Chinese. When the Chinese come over here, they bring their whole family and invest. And who do they make their money off of? Money I'm not sure. I don't know. Okay, when the Chinese come in these ghettos, who they, who's the main one? Who's their main consumer? Our people. Us, yes. Our people. They come here, they get 